Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our installment of Scott Selections here for Saturday, February 27th. We're getting today's play that a quick recap of what happened yesterday. We ended up having a nice winner as we ended up giving out Missouri State minus 5.5 and minus 105 on bet online as it ended up taking on Evansville. Ended up winning by 9. Uh, Missouri State really just couldn't be stopped offensively. I mentioned in the video how bad Evansville's defense was. However, I didn't think it would let Missouri State shoot 69% from the floor and 66% from three. Either way, though, anytime you score 90, you got to like your chances that Missouri State ended up covering. So it's been a very nice week or so uh, with the free plays, and hopefully that carries over into Saturday. Now, for the play of the day, we're going to be looking at an ACC matchup between Florida State and North Carolina. They'll be taking place at roughly 4 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play of the day, we're going to be taking the road favorite here in Florida State, and the best line currently available is minus 2.5 and, and minus 110 on bet MGM. Time recording of 1.47 a.m. Eastern time. A couple reasons why I like Florida State in this spot. First of all, there has been some line movement already as Florida State opened up at minus two. And then it's mostly moved around to minus three, but you can still get minus two and a half with no additional juice and minus 110 on bet MGM. So, of course, I will take the free half point. Now, looking at both teams over the course of the season and over the last couple of games, Florida State is 10-2 and in conference play. Uh, it's actually in first place in the ACC. UNC is 8-5. and five. Looking at the overall records here, Florida State is the 11th ranked team in the country. 14 and 3 overall, and North Carolina is 14 and 8 overall. Now, looking at some recent results, Florida State is in the middle of a four game winning streak as it ended up taking Miami behind the woodshed in its last game, where UNC ends up entering this game on a pretty low note after losing a last second scheduled game to Marquette uh, at home by double digits. Really a pathetic showing by North Carolina, and that game is even more significant, which I'll get to in a second. But looking at Florida State and North Carolina, these teams actually played each other earlier this season. And Florida State was able to win that game at home by seven points. Now, that game was actually pretty close throughout. Uh, North Carolina hung around. However, I do think that there were a couple of other factors to keep in mind as to why the game was close, which are, I'd say, less likely to happen once again. Mostly the fact that North Carolina is a terrible three-point shooting team. Shoots about 31% from the three-point line, yet in the first meeting, shot around 41% from the, th- from the three-point line which allowed North Carolina to hit 10 threes to keep the game close. I don't think that's going to happen again. I think North Carolina will struggle from behind the arc. I think Florida State will make some adjustments, and I do think North Carolina will struggle offensively, especially as you've seen throughout the course of the season. The guard play for North Carolina is not very good. You can go through the line here on who this team has, whether it's going to be Love. Walton, I think, is okay uh, as a three-point shooter, but uh, he's been a, Love's been a disappointment. Uh, just really going down the line, Leaky Black's not very good either. This team really just has underwhelming guard play. I do think Florida State has enough athleticism and enough shooting ability to give uh, North Carolina's backcourt some serious problems. But anyway, going back to the North Carolina's last game against Marquette, it's been a pretty interesting schedule for North Carolina over the last couple of weeks. Ended up having a last-second scheduled game against Northeastern, won by 20. Played against a very shorthanded Louisville team who was coming back off of COVID and really just wanted to delay the game. Uh, Louisville asked North Carolina to move the game back so they can get more players, and North Carolina said no. So Louisville had to use a bunch of, basically, a bunch of walk-ons, and that kind of explains why North Carolina won that game by 45. And then ended up playing a last-second scheduled game against Marquette and lost by 13. Now, North Carolina was in very good shape to make the tournament uh, before that game against Marquette, and then ended up losing by 13 in a game it probably didn't even need to play in the first place. And now North Carolina is firmly on the bubble once again, which is even more concerning because you have teams like uh, Michigan State and Duke who have kind of risen from the dead to take up potentially two more spots from the actual field. And now North Carolina pretty much needs to win this game, in my opinion, if it wants to have a serious shot at making the tournament. I think North Carolina is still going to be in the hunt, of course, even if it loses. But you have to really wonder how many spots are left in the, with some of these teams. And North Carolina right now has not been playing great basketball. You look at North Carolina this season, the main reasons why I like Florida State, before I get into some stats, is the fact that North Carolina really hasn't beaten anybody all season long. You look at these step-up spots for North Carolina, played Texas in a uh, title game in a neutral uh, for some tournament, lost by two, played Iowa on the road, lost by 13, beat Kentucky, but that doesn't really mean anything. Going down the line here, though, keeps going through, lost to Clemson on the road by 13, lost to Virginia on the road by 12. And that's basically it. It beat Duke. I mean, Duke was still terrible at the time, but still ended up beating Duke. This team really just has no wins. And if you go through the actual standings and you go through the actual schedule, this team hasn't beaten a ranked opponent all year. I don't think Florida State's a good place to start, especially with the way the Florida State's uh, currently been playing. Going through some efficiency numbers, though, Florida State ranks eighth in offense efficiency and North Carolina ranks 62nd. So Florida State has a much better offense. Now looking at some actual shooting numbers, 
Florida State is shooting roughly 3% higher from the floor, roughly 9% higher from the foul line, and roughly 8% higher from the three-point line. So these teams aren't even close when it comes to offensive talent and offensive potency. Now, it is worth mentioning that Florida State's number one scorer, MJ Walker, did not play in the last game, and he is questionable for this one. There was a chance he returns, but I do find it pretty interesting that even before it's been announced if he plays or not, there has been line movement to Florida State anyway. So the way I see it is that there's two ways that this could go. Either A, somebody knows something and Walker's going to play, or B, people like Florida State anyway, and if Walker decides to play at the last minute, this line could probably climb to around three and a half, maybe even four and a half. So either way, I think two and a half is a pretty good number based on this current spot. Looking at some trends, though, Florida State is 6-1-1 and ATS in its last eight road games, in its last eight games, sorry, following a straight-up win. And North Carolina is 1-4 and ATS in its last five home games versus a team with a winning road record. So anyway, long story short, I think Florida State's a much better team. North Carolina struggled in every step-up spot it's had this season, and it's coming off of a very upsetting, uh, you know, game against Marquette. And Roy Williams kind of went off in the press conference, stuff like that. But North Carolina has kind of been put up or shut up territory. I said going into the year, I didn't think this team would make the tournament. I watched them play. The guard play was too atrocious. And I simply think North Carolina is going to come up short here. So for that reason, the play that I once again here on Saturday, February 27th, is going to be on Florida State minus 2.5 and, and minus 110 on BetMGM. That's been Stalman Scott Selection. Good luck to all of you and your respective bets today. Bye, everyone.